Hello everyone and uh, thank you for taking your time to look at this demo. What we want to do today is uh, give you a very very quick and brief overview of what uh, the HP product Quick Test Professional is all about and how does it work for uh, various of our uh, testing needs in the automation world. What I'm going to do is show you how the basic level of testing uh, automation is performed on the Quick Test Professional tool after which uh, we will go into uh, why the tool is used a little more theory about uh, the marketability of the tool and the importance in today's corporate world. Once uh, you have downloaded the Quick Test Professional uh, onto your system you could do a trial version or if you have a license you could use a license version HP typically gives you a 14 days trial version uh, to make sure that you get a good chance to be able to evaluate the tool. When you open the application, you will look at a screen something like this. Now I know uh, there are a lot of features here so it is okay, uh, uh, don't be confused. What we would do as part of the overall course is learn each and every functionality and feature of this tool and how we could apply it uh, at our workplace. To give a brief overview of uh, what these uh, few sections mean, when you open a new test, what you would see is a test flow to the left side. You would see a script being generated in this part of the window and you would see uh, some of the features like data table and active screens out here. But more importantly, all the features that we use to automate using QTP you would see in the menu bar. The two most important features uh, without which uh, QTP uh, wouldn't have been a successful tool is the ability to record specific steps that we show QTP and to ask, instruct QTP to run those steps again uh, for different sets of data, different sets of parameter and multiple times. So you record and program the QTP scripts once and you can ask, instruct QTP to run it, reuse it multiple times. The other thing is called something as an object repository or objects. Everything that QTP does is on objects. Without objects there wouldn't be a successful tool like QTP. Uh, so objects is almost like the building blocks of this tool. Today we will look at how we could do a simple automation of a web based application and a windows based application. Just to give you how an overview of how the tool performs. Let's say I start off with a windows application. When I first thing I do is I open a new test. When I say new test, this is what Typically you would say you could customize the view as you want, after which I go to the automation on my menu bar and click on record and run settings. Once I click there I have options, either I can test on a web or a windows application. Any website or internet address that you open using a browser comes under web application. Everything that happens on the internet with a browser comes under the web application side. Any software or any uh, utility tools like your Win Microsoft Word, Excel, Calculator uh, or different other downloaded uh, versions of tools that you use comes under Windows application. Now let's quickly look at uh, how we could test a simple application on the web. To do that, I'm going to enable for today's class, I will instruct QTP to open google.com and do a specific recording. Each of these features and how they are used you will learn as we go along in the class. Before I start my record, let us see what I want to do with QTP. When I want, what I want to test rather. I want quick test professional to test if the Google search feature is working. To do that, I'll say I want to enter a search term. After I enter a search term, 
I want to see if the Google search button is working. This is a very simple test. Now you could do various other tests like are all these links working, are the results being displayed as it is supposed to be, and uh, can we do this for different value uh, variables like now we used Halloween, we want to search for different search terms, or is it causing any error? But right now, we will only search for one term and see how it works. Now I go back to QTP. I had already gone to the record and run settings and said we will do a recording on google.com. So when I say record, it will open my Microsoft Internet Explorer and go to the website google.com. I have to make sure that I don't have any browsers open when I start my record. Now I click on record. The first thing it would do, now it is everything that is doing, it is doing it automatically. It has opened the browser for me out here. Alright. Here is my browser and here is my quick test professional application. And out here you can see something called as recording. So it is currently recording. Whatever we try and do, it will record out here. So let's say I hit Halloween. See when I clicked on Halloween and I finished that step, it generated a set of code out here. Now I can go and click on Google search. When I clicked on Google search, it again generated another line of code. And I can then say let's say advanced search. And it is displayed the page advanced search for me. I can now close the browser and say stop recording. So what this did is it generated five lines of code for me. Now I can ask quick test professional hey can you do the same thing again? What I just did can you do rec you recorded it now let's see how it works. So then you click on run. This is an important feature we will learn later but for now I'll say when the results which are generated put it in a temporary folder because I will not use it. So I'll say OK. As it executes, there's a yellow arrow which moves across the code and you would see the operation being done on the website. I'm not doing anything. It is QTP which is doing it. So it has performed those operations. Now, I know it has searched for Halloween, but let's say I want it to search for a different term. Let's say Obama. Will it do the same thing? When, it, when I recorded it generated a script. Instead of Halloween I'm saying Obama. So let's see how it works now. I'm going to restore. Obama. See, now you can see Obama being done and it is closing. What if I want to go step by step? Uh, it is probably going too fast, so I will ask Quick Test Professional to do one by one. So I'll say step into. It is similar to run, but it will do one line after the other. The first thing, it opens the browser. Once it opens the browser, it will ask me to do the next step. And I'll click on F11, which is same like step into. We hit Obama, that is what it did and it is typed Obama here. The next step is click on the Google search. I click on F11, it will click on Google search. Now it is displayed here. Now click on advanced search. It's clicked on advanced search, now it has come to this site. Now I'll say close. So how does uh, QTP work this way? As I told you, two most important features are one, record and playback. Second is object repository or objects. Every time you record something, QTP automatically understands and reads what are the objects we worked on. 